Our next bout of the evening is a mixed martial arts bout in the featherweight division with Corey Anderson taking on Scott Hernandez Azmir. I'm Corey Anderson. I'm 21. I'm fighting out of Rocket City MMA. I've always been a sports guy. I've always played like football, basketball, and stuff like that. And when I graduated, I kind of stopped all that. And then one day it just hit me like, I want to start getting back into being athletic. Uh, MMA has changed my life because it's made me more proactive in life. It's made me get in better shape, coming to make better choices in my life. My two to five year goal is hopefully to go to the next level and, you know, eventually become pro and eventually you know, go higher than that. I'll just let my fight do the talking. All right, my name is Scott Hernandez. I'm 20 years old. I'm fighting out uh, Assassin's MMA. First year was wrestling. I had started wrestling in my senior year. I started fighting in the backyard. I know it was kind of cringe. At first, I was a street fighter, but now I, you know, you know, got, you know, real training in. So, you know, try to test myself in the waters with the sharks. This is my debut fight, and, um, you know, I'm excited, you know. Uh, it's going to give me enough experience. Um, I'm going to see how it goes. First time in the cage fighting for real. And, you know, I'm, I'm ready for anything that goes. Corey Anderson has fought for the AFC some, the AFL in Alabama, and uh, he's done really, really well. Uh, I like the kid a lot. Very nice, carries himself good. Uh, he's young in the game still, man, so I'm excited to see him fight today. Yeah, and he's a character, man, especially with the tooth. That yeah. has becoming a signature with a lot of MMA fighters. It's uh, kind of in style almost, <laughs> yes, and uh, that's really neat to <laughs> see, you know? Uh, but he definitely brings a, a, a charisma to the cage here. We're very excited to see him in action tonight, uh, as you mentioned, representing he, Rocket City MMA. He fought Corey Perigo in Rainsville, Alabama, beat my buddy Corey Perigo, really good friend of mine. Corey's in the crowd here somewhere. He's rooting pretty heavy for Corey Anderson. When I first told him he was fighting Corey Anderson, he sent me a screenshot of Corey Anderson from the UFC. He goes, this guy? And I was like, yeah, man. He goes, man, I'll do it, but what, what are you talking about? He's <laughs> actually fighting an item, I'm pretty sure. Tonight, Corey, Corey Anderson, Anderson is? he's fighting the uh, in in Bellator. 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 Yes. Yeah. Heck yes. Very good. I need one of them sweaters, Chandler. <laughs> Amazon, baby. Amazon. Amazon. Amazon's goaded. You know, I'm all about that thrift stuff, so I find the deals and I give the thrills. Corey <laughs> Anderson making his way into the cage. We'll send it back to Jennifer as she brings out Scott Hernandez Asmer. And his opponent making his way to the cage. Please welcome Scott Hernandez Asmer. And there you see him making his way to the cage. Alvin. Scott Hernandez Azimer, fighting out of Assassin's MMA. Hernandez Azimer out in the gi top too. I think a blue belt on there. Yeah, blue belt on the gi. You saw him discussing how he spent a lot of time in the streets fighting. And that drew him into getting real training. And now he says he's doing it for real for the first time, you know? Uh, Find out in the streets, not for real. It's very much for real, but this is where it's done best. Jorge yes. Masvidal, Trevor Peak, uh, Kimbo Slice, a lot of these people, big household names, out of the streets, man. And then they finally get into a real camp. They start getting to wreck people for real. Hey, Chandler Cole's street record was 0-402, uh, but listen, <laughs> that don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. You get some training under your belt, anything can happen. Things get different, man. There you see him getting the grease and ready to get into the cage as Scott Hernandez as a mayor with a tall test ahead of him in Corey Anderson. Featherweight mixed martial arts action here at All or Nothing 4. Bodies on the floor. And we are live from Saudi Daisy Wrestling Arena. Sold out, Saudi Daisy Wrestling Arena. There's that Rocket City. There is not an empty seat in the house. All right, let's send it back to Jennifer for our official introductions. This time is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. First, to my right, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 155 pounds. Holds an undefeated record of one win with zero losses and represents Rocket City MMA. Corey Anderson. And his opponent across the cage to my left in the red corner. He weighed in at 155 pounds. 
represents Assassin's MMA, and tonight he is making his mixed martial arts debut, Scott Hernandez Asmer. Your referee when the action begins is Chad Washburn. Having so much fun with you folks this evening. All right, here we go. As you can see Corey Anderson in the Valley Tudo shorts, black. Scott Hernandez Azamar in the gray. And already Anderson looking for that overhand, sticks a jab. Good little inside leg kick right there. And a good body kick return. Corey Anderson is huge. At 45. Ah, that kick was huge, and that body kick right there was huge. Nasty. Oh, my gosh. That was a nice little left hook, though, we had from Hernandez. Oof. Oh, here we go, looking for the takedown. Gets Nick the, the single. Neck. He's got the neck. He's got it. That's tight. No, nope, no. Nope. can he hold it, though? He only can he had, hold he's, it? He, got one, he only got one hand in. Asmar Hernandez able to negate the guillotine now inside the guard of Corey Anderson. One thing that a lot of people say about Rocket City is they, there's a, if there is a short, short, uh, a shortcoming there, they do say it's the grappling and the jiu-jitsu. That's one thing you say, like, well, we'll just take them down. That doesn't always work. So we'll see here. I think Corey Anderson's probably a white belt, if I had to guess. I'm a white belt. No, you're not. Really? That's cool, man. I only got a blue belt. Chuck Mitchell gave me a blue belt out of 10th Planet. So oh, Chuck here we Mitchell go. Advancing to the back is Asimer. Looking oh, for the RC. That's, that's deep, though. That's oh, deep, lifted deep. his oh, head up. Tight. Lifted his head up. That's deep. Oh, Corey's tough, man. Corey's he so is, tough. You can tell Hernandez has that wrestling. Just, you, know, you see the way he's riding. Oh, oh and he oh. reverses. Now it is Corey Anderson on top. That's if he tough. plays his right, he gets to get that crucifix right there. A lot of people would have tapped just from like the feeling that crazy pressure. Oh, uh, now putting the pressure up against the cage is Corey Anderson. You saw him drive Hernandez Asmar Gotta be careful over. right here. Gotta be careful right here. He's gonna slam him, he's gonna pick him up. Corey's strong. Corey's strong. I'll, I'll say, up. if you walk out with a gi, that means you just, it's probably your Look, game. Yeah. Uh, but you got to watch reaching inside that leg in mixed martial arts because you do a lot of those moves in jujitsu that will get you hit when the strikes are coming down. Hammer. Oh, oh. Looking for the triangle, perhaps. I can't oh. see from this vantage point. I can't either. I can't either. I thought armbar, maybe. Oh, armbar. Oh, he rolls out. Yes. Oh, nasty oh, transition. Yes. That could be tight. Nasty transition. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow! He's got to get across. He's got to get across the body. He can you got to get across. Escape it. He's got to get across the body. You don't rip that out. Get across the body. He's got uh, left leg over, right? Oh god, but that just made it a lot tighter. Uh, Ten seconds. Can he hold on? Oh, so tough. And Anderson ends up on top. And and he's gonna be good. He could probably make 35. Oh. Big shots already from Corey Anderson. Trying, looking for the takedown is Azamar. Oh, clean striking from Corey Anderson. Stiff jab from Hernandez Azamar. Oh, and now looking for the takedown. He's strong. And now we resign to the clinch, the pressure against the cage, if you will. And that is an art unto itself. Chandler, you come from a grappling background. How much is using the cage and clinch work almost cheating? You know, <laughs> well, uh, you know, I, I will say this. Uh, I'm glad you actually said that because the cage, my wrestling, my natural wrestling, you know, from high school and college and stuff, didn't help me on the cage. Oh. Wow, look at that! Because that's a different Ducks game. under! Yes, sir, yes, Ducks sir. under that head kick and gets the takedown. Does Hernandez Azamar. And now on top of Corey Anderson inside the guard. That was a bombed head kick. Now he's back on top, but you gotta do something from here. You can't just sit on him. You gotta, you gotta initiate uh, some type of offense from top. 
Uh, oh, easily passed on that. Good guy, pass. I, there you go. Now you got to try to go in a full mount, and then you got to create separation. He needs to close up the oh, half guard. Advancing he to close mount. Half guard, and it was right to mount. Yeah, I would use my forearm right now. And I was oh. going to say, you've got to watch advancing into full mount in mixed martial arts because one bump and you can be gone. I almost prefer the half guard position from I there. Too. I do too. I just feel like you have a lot more control as far as like what side you're on. You're not necessarily... Uh, when you're on full mount, the hip, uh, that sounds, the hip thrust, the, the actual the fulcrum that you have to get them up and go into one side or another is a lot uh, easier when you're in full mount. However, though, you know, half guard, you're kind of on the side and you can land your ground and pound and set up submissions and stuff. So For I sure. agree with you, uh, Casey. You know, I would much rather be on top of someone punching. And again, it, it, it <laughs> another one of the little adjustments that you you tend to make going from traditional like Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu into mixed martial arts and using your grappling to fight. Uh, now you see Hernandez Asmar under the mount. Will he be able to escape? He is in a very tough spot, and this could cost him the round. He got the takedown, but now he is in a uh, a lot of trouble, if you will. And his face is. Uh you, you can tell his face is a little red as, you know, as in he's tired. He's more tired than anything, I yep. think, right now. Uh, and Corey Anderson is able to rest. You see, he's not doing a whole lot. He's just maintaining position. And uh, you really don't have to fight a lot. They're not going to stand you up from mount position. And now looking to finish here in the closing moments. I think it's going to be one-to-one -one going into round number three. For sure. For right. And here we are, round three underway. If I'm uh, Corey Anderson, I'm pushing the pace. Yeah. Oof. Oh, yeah. nasty head kick. Nasty hook. You know, these guys are really one shot. And I think the, the fighter that goes back to the jab, you know, th that is a great setup for everything. The jab really is the epitome of the striking game. We've not seen a lot of that. These guys are head hunting like crazy. Now Corey Anderson with that front face lock. Let's see what he can do with it. I think it. you see a lot of that in amateurs. I think, you know, when they're busting into the scene, because, you know, uh, I use my my jab as like a radar. You know, I'll throw it out there. I don't even mean to hit you. Oh, but. take hey, down. Take down. This is not where I'd want to be. No, if Asimar routes it out and goes the way here, it's, it's his fight, but I would say. I would also don't pass into. Good God. Just like that. How is he How is he, How is is he? he going from full mount to uh, him on full mount? That's just so knowledge. Easily. That's just knowledge. I mean, as far as, like, being the top pressure, because in jiu-jitsu, I feel like a lot of times, like, you, you can be on your back and be safe. That is just in his sport. He doesn't have to really worry about that as okay, much. Okay, I see what you're saying. And I think something else is that, you know, when you have the cage close to you, it makes it much harder to get bucked off, right? You've noticed that Corey Anderson, up until now, has actually pushed the fight to the wall when he is on top, and it's made it very, very difficult for well, him as far to get out. But look at oh, this. Look at that. So what a I mean, on top. You're right. saying in jiu-jitsu it's a little more easy. You like, they'll, they'll more operate but off man, the back. Yeah, if, if I'm Asimar, Hernandez Asimar, I'm going to push to the wall. I'm going to post with the outside leg so I don't get elevated and turned. And I've got a minute to hold on here on top, land some shots. And he has Amen. to settle right there. He, can, he can't. He has to have a wide base. And don't let him turn on his hips. And if you do, make sure that you're positioned to keep him there. I mean, that's the name of the game right now. But if I am uh, if I'm Corey Anderson, I'm, I'm not stopping moving. I mean, I'm going to keep moving. This underhook right here, he needs to shrimp off to the side and try to stand up or something. Just like that. Oh, here we go. Advancing oh, to the oh, back. But he could lose the position. Which he did. He <laughs> dies. Another reversal. <laughs> now, that being said, we've had, what, two reversals thus far. Um, but the initial takedown was from Scott Hernandez Asmar. Yeah. You know, uh, as far as the ground and pound goes, you know, Corey Anderson's landed the most, but it's only been like four, five, six shots. Uh, oh, oh, here we go. Is that a triangle? Going high with that guard, looking for something. Big drama show in Saudi Daisy. Imagine he pulled it out right now. Well, we got 10 seconds for him to pull it out. But I don't know how you score this one. I mean, so I, Anderson looking to do something, anything here in the closing moments. And now look at this, looking for a reversal. Stop. <sighs> All right, let's send it back to Jennifer. I hope three rounds to get your judges' scorecards for decision. Your judges score this fight 29 28 blue, 29 28 red. 
and 29-28 for your winner by split decision. Out of the blue corner.